On any given Monday evening, you can find a group of students on Salt Lake City's west side gathering outside the Utah Dream Center. In this diverse neighborhood, you'll find a wide and diverse culture of families from a variety of racial, ethnic, and religious backgrounds. Open Door volunteer Terry Kerr explains. The culture here is Hispanic, African from Africa, war-torn Africa. There are also um, African Americans, which means they're Africans from America. And um, we also have a population, there's some Vietnamese, there's also Pacific Islanders, Laotians. Um, when the kids come here from different cultures, it's very hard for them to adapt. Each week, Open Door volunteers walk through the neighborhood, inviting children and their families to attend the Open Door program. The program, which is geared for refugee families in the area, encourages reading, structured fun, and also provides a healthy meal for the children every week. And we have dinner with them. And the cool part about that is not only do they get the feel for sitting down to a family-style dinner, but we try really hard to feed them a healthy meal. We include a lot of fruits and vegetables and just provide them with foods that they may not otherwise have. And we encourage them to try things that they don't like or that they think they don't like. And a lot of times they realize that they do like something healthy, so that's really cool to see too. So we've got chicken legs here. Um, I found that in the refugee community, they, some people can't eat pork, they can't eat beef. The one thing everybody loves is chicken. So we got fi exactly 51 chicken legs, which is the capacity of my apartment oven. So chipotle marinated chicken legs with um, some grapes, ketchup on the plate, and we've got a big pot of mashed potatoes. I saw, I saw the sort of the bulletin for, for the kids stuff going on at K2 and um, I'm not necessarily really great with dealing with wild kids and I just kind of thought, I mean I felt compelled to at least come and, and see what was going on so I found a place where I fit really well in a way that I could serve the kids um, by serving them food and I love food, I love to cook, I don't care. this is something I do well. So, you don't even have any. I mean I didn't even know that this was a need when I first when I first showed up. And I just I wanna serve, you know, I feel like um, that's what that's what the church is. The church is not a building, the church are people who serve and I wanted to be part of the church. Week in and week out, the open door program provides tutoring, meals, and a safe loving place for the children in the area. The program is not without its needs, however. Each week, the Dream Center battles issues of facilities, space, volunteer needs, and a whole host of other issues. Because the goal is to do one-on-one -on -one time with each, each kid, and since we only have about 20 volunteers at this point, and we have 40 to 50 kids, that does make it more difficult. We're weak in the area of the older kids' team, and my dream would be to build that up so that as the kids work through the two younger groups and reach that group, they have healthy, solid relationships with us here and with each other, and they desire to stay in the program and keep learning and working through the stuff that we have here for them, and unfortunately I see a lot of them disappearing and thinking they're too cool for the program, so I think that's the biggest problem we have right now. As kids reach junior high age, they're starting to get more involved in things that aren't healthy for them. There are many kids that are high risk here. The pregnancy rate is about 9 out of 10 in this area, as opposed to the east side where it's about 1 out of 10 uh, teens get pregnant. With the score of issues facing the open door and the surrounding community, this program is about so much more than just tutoring and a hot meal. These complex issues require strong, consistent leadership, and Open Door Director Susanna Metzger is just that. Full of my long-term dreams and goals are to have us more involved with the parents and with the teachers, to have actual relationships built with them so we know the parents of each child and we know the teachers and we know which school they're going to, and we can partner with them. We can go to the teachers and say, okay, what? does this kid need to work on or what are you seeing him struggle with in school and they can give us information, they can give us their homework or their assignments and then we can work on that on Monday nights and 
work with the kids individually and then go back to the teachers and we can collaborate again and see how they're improving with their parents to build that trust relationship with their parents so that they know that we're not there just for the kids but we care about the whole family and we're not there just to have fun or play games with the kids but that we want to see them improve in life. We want them to have even more opportunities than their parents have right now. We say that we want to be focused, tight and out there and the Open Door is a program that's been created so that we can be out there and we can be in the community and on a good day I can get from the Dream Center to K2 in seven minutes so that really is literally right in our backyard. That's the community near K2 and I think the awesome thing that is unique about K2 is that there's so many people from so many different backgrounds with so many skills and passions and talents and things that they have to offer that we can just bring that together and in so many different ways all those pieces can come together and I think we could do so much more, so many more amazing things at the Dream Center and in Open Door because of everybody's unique place in life. If we say that we love Jesus and we want to follow him then we're going to serve no matter what and this is a place where you can easily jump in and serve and you may or may not see results, but you definitely will be blessed and you will be able to enjoy spending time with children. And honestly, I think every minute that we do spend with the kids does produce results. In so many ways, we try to make Kingdom Work be super spiritual. And I think just loving people and serving them, giving them a healthy meal and educating them on what fruits and vegetables are and why you need to eat them. I think just teaching them a holistic view of life and how they can live well, I think that can be considered kingdom work as well. And God is a God of justice. Throughout the Bible he talks about justice so much and he also talks about how you need to care for those who are refugees in your area, the people who are strangers and foreigners. And these people are refugees and they are foreign to this country. And the fact that they are right in our backyard, right down the street from K2, makes it even more of a reason for us to get involved and to serve them and be there with them and love them like Jesus calls us to.